Tell me, how did TV go from this to this? Well, hear me out. 1923, Vladimir Zworykin patents the iconoscope, which later becomes the cornerstone for the future of television. 100 years later, statistics say, Americans alone are responsible for 250 billion hours behind the television annually. That's such a crazy transformation! Besides, we currently live in a world dominated by streaming services, with Netflix having approximately 130 million members worldwide. Alright, enough numbers for now, let's dive straight into the changing world of television. Television 99% of Americans own at least one of them in their home. In fact, you probably had one turned on earlier tonight. The electronic transmission of sound and images in motion from a source to a receiver is known as television. Television has had a significant impact on society by extending the senses of sight and sound beyond the boundaries of physical distance. Early in the 20th century, it was imagined as a potential tool for education and interpersonal contact. However, by the middle of the century, it had developed into a thriving broadcast medium, employing the structure of broadcast radio to reach audiences around the globe with news and entertainment. Let's go through the evolution of the large and somewhat fat TV to the current flat-screen TVs. The technical specifications of modern televisions, both monochrome and color, were first established in the middle of the 20th century. Just so you know, with monochrome we mean only one color. Today, television is delivered in a variety of ways, including over-the-air by terrestrial radio waves, along coaxial cables, cable TV reflected off of satellites held in geostationary Earth orbit, direct broadcast satellite or DBS TV, streamed through the internet and captured optically on digital video discs known as DVDs, as well as Blu-ray discs. By the way, don't worry if it sounds a bit difficult, we'll make it a lot easier in a second, but before we get to that, we would like to test if you've been paying attention, and we'll ask you the following question. How many members does Netflix have worldwide? The answer is 130 million. Did you get it right? Now that I tested you, feel free to test me. Place a comment under this video and I guarantee that I will get you a response within an hour. Alright, let's get back on track. The development of high-definition television, which is known as HDTV, attracted a lot of interest. In order to enable interactive services and broadcast numerous programs in the channel space traditionally occupied by one program, the transmission of digitally encoded television signals was also implemented. Initially, the wealthy purchased TVs as a luxury item, but by the end of the 1940s, sales were rising due to price cuts and by 1989, 60% of Americans had cable. TV designs have evolved over the past century, going from bulky to elegant, big to small, yet not every new model has been a success. Despite this ongoing technical advancement, it is best to first understand the background and guiding principles of monochrome television before moving on to color. Did you know, most people dream in color, but those that grew up watching black and white television often dream in black and white? When you think about it, this just shows how much of an impact television has on our lives. Have you ever dreamed in black and white? If so, what did you dream about? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. Years before the television was invented, in the 1860s, the Pantelegraph became the first device to send images electronically. The Pantelegraph, developed by the Italian physicist Giovanni Caselli, could transmit drawings and notes over long distances. The ability of electrochemistry allowed for the transfer of images from one location to another. In 1924, Scottish engineer John Logie Baird invented the first functional TV using any materials he could find, including wax, cardboard and a bicycle lamp. Baird's original device could transmit an image's shape from just a few feet away. In 1925, he successfully transmitted a picture of a ventriloquist dummy to the general public as a way to show off his technology. The image of the dummy's head formed itself on the screen, with what seemed to me to be an almost inconceivable clarity, he remarked after the trial. I'd gotten it! I was so excited that I could hardly believe what I was seeing. Baird displayed his creation in retail establishments. In 1929, the Baird Televisor was the first television to be offered for sale. 
by 1,000 devices were made. The TV had a screen approximately the size of a postage stamp, and it used reflected light to produce a low-resolution image. Bade and his electromechanical television were quickly rendered obsolete by Philo Farnsworth's discovery of the electric television. Better resolution and easier mass production were two advantages of the electric TV. The Marconi 702 was a luxury device that only the wealthy could acquire in the 1930s. Half of the typical yearly wage in the 1930s was paid for the TV set, which was marketed for £100. In 2011, a working Marconi 702 was sold at auction for thousands of dollars. Despite changes in the concept, the cost of televisions continues to be a problem. According to Spiegel, the development of services like cable and Netflix has changed how individuals pay for the media they watch. In 1960, businesses created electronic remote control switches for the RCA Victor TV as an example of modern technology. At this time, consumers were given the first TV remote. This was a huge moment in the timeline of television. Can you imagine having to walk up to the TV to turn up the volume? I'm glad we live in a time where we have a TV remote. The Home Entertainment Center and other inventive and peculiar TV designs emerged. The West German-made Kuba Komet was designed to meet every consumer's desire for enjoyment. It has a sailboat-like shape with a phonograph along with a television tuner. The Seiko TV Watch claimed that it was the tiniest TV ever made. When flat-screen TVs originally came out, most people couldn't afford them, but in the 2000s, they soon took over from the old-style box television sets. Standard definition was replaced with high definition. Traditional television and the profusion of expanding streaming services were both available on smart TVs. With the development of its 3D TVs in the 2010s, companies like Sony experimented with an entirely novel experience in the living room. According to Spiegel, mobile platforms and streaming services have altered how users engage with displays in the 2010s. Today, one does not require a TV to watch television. Only a few short years later, 8K resolution flat screens have replaced 4K resolution. Spiegel rejects the widespread belief that traditional television is nearing its end. She thinks that by advancing with the medium, broadcast and cable television will thrive. Did you know that Mel Brook, a popular American actor, once stated that television is an amazing invention? One day, they might even allow us to turn it on. Since its creation, television has advanced significantly. In the modern era of television, we have access to a staggering array of channels and streaming services from nearly anywhere. There has never been a better moment to enjoy high-quality television due to the development of smart TVs, streaming devices and gaming consoles. Since its inception, television has advanced significantly. It still remains a significant source of entertainment in the modern world. Also, viewers now have access to an even greater range of content because of the rise of streaming services like Netflix and Hulu. Nevertheless, choosing what to watch next can be difficult given the abundance of possibilities. Did this buzz your curiosity for more? What would you like next? Thank you for watching and subscribe and follow for more.